Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Last week I made a video updating you about my whereabouts and the things I was going to be recording, including some movie related vlogs of exhibitions and museums in Amsterdam. So that's what I'm bringing for you today, my first exploration of anything movie related in this wonderful city. And it was a Martin Scorsese exhibition in the iFilm Museum. Getting to the iFilm Museum was super easy. You go to Central Station, you hop on a ferry at no charge, and in less than five minutes you are on the other side and the museum is just right there. The museum shows a lot of monthly screenings, several seasonal exhibitions, and for this season they have the life and works of Martin Scorsese. If you saw my latest bucket list and you have been watching my channel for quite a while now, you know I'm not the biggest fan of Martin Scorsese. That's not to say he's not a wonderful director. Of course he is. I cannot argue that in any way. It's just his taste is not necessarily the same as mine. But that's why I wanted to go to this exhibition because I thought it would be a great in-depth look into this man, his work, and maybe understand him a little bit better and in that way enjoy his movies a little bit more. So in case you don't know who Martin Scorsese is, I'm not trying to be condescending, this is a just-in-case situation. He's the wonderful director of classic movies like Taxi Driver, Goodfellas, Raging Bull, and some more recent ones like The Wolf of Wall Street, The Departed, and Shutter Island. He's the son of Italian immigrants and he has lived most of his life in New York and you can see that that is a recurring theme in his movies and a location he loves to explore and exhibit with pride. The exhibition shows a lot of fragments from his movies. They are projected in different parts of the exhibition and there are over 400 items shown from scripts to drawings to movie wardrobes and they're all divided in different subjects and in different themes that he loves to use in his movies and show us a little bit more who this man is and what he is trying to say. As soon as you enter the exhibition everything is dark so the only light that you see comes from anything that is illuminating these objects or the light from the different projections and you see these fragments of the movies playing over and over again. Now as I said they're divided in different subjects. For example they explore why he likes to film in New York City and what exactly he shows about it because even though it is New York and he's one of those directors that has made New York very prominent in movies it's not necessarily the glamorized version that you know of New York. He loves filming the small communities, he loves filming the way locals would live in New York and what it has meant to them through the passing of the years. Since it's such an immigrant fueled city, he loves to show that side of it as well. I also love that we talk about his portrayal of brotherhood, betrayal, and mistrust. If you've seen his movies, you know that there's always a pairing between males almost in every movie, that it's very important and it's normally like the main relationship of that movie. For example, in Shutter Island is the relationship between the two detectives, and Raging Bull is the relationship between brothers. And in Wolf of Wall Street is the relationship between best friends. There's always an element of mistrust, there's always an element of betrayal between these two main characters. Somebody betrayed someone, sometimes there's a big element of revenge, we see that again, Gangs of New York, The Departed. And I love that this exhibition tried to explore that and it makes you see a little bit better what makes his movies so compelling. They also try to showcase a lot his style of filming, the way he works the camera, the film editing, and why it has become so important for him. They showcase scenes like the chasing scene in The Departed. They also talk a lot about the choreography and the editing in movies like Raging Bull when the, he's in the boxing matches. And so it was nice to see these movies that maybe I never connected so much with, seeing them being dissected and analyzed, and you can see kind of like the brilliance behind them. And then focusing a little bit more on him as a person, we get to see a lot of his scripts, a lot of the scribbling he did for certain stories, and also as a child, how he started making storyboards without knowing really what it was. It was just his way of envisioning a story and putting it on paper and seeing what he liked about it. And so they showcase an entire section of all of his drawings and all of the things he wrote just to show you that this was really what he wanted to do, even if he didn't know what it was just yet. It was really awesome to see him so dedicated and so in love with storytelling from such a young age. It was a super cool exhibition, the kind where you want to kind of take your time, you don't want to be rushed, you want to read and listen to him. There's certain fragments and documentary parts where you get to hear him talk and what movies and filming mean to him. And then it's also awesome to just re-see these amazing freaking scenes and seeing how they deconstruct them and just the creativity behind them. You know, it made me appreciate him a lot more as a director. And it actually made me want to see some of these movies again with a different perspective and to actually finally watch some of the ones I haven't seen. They're on my bucket list. I haven't seen them like Goodfellas and Mean Streets. So I might get to that very soon. So yeah guys, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about that. I had a lot of fun. I don't know if any of you are in the Netherlands or coming to Amsterdam anytime soon, but I highly recommend it. And if you're a fan or not a fan, but you just love movies, it's really interesting and educational to go see this exhibition. So guys, let me know. Are you fans of Martin Scorsese? Is there one of his movies that you really, really love? 
For me, it's Shutter Island. It's actually one of my favorite movies of all time. So let me know in the comments section which one of Martin Scorsese's movies is your favorite and why. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. I make movie videos every week, vlogs, anything related to movies and books, all that jazz. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you had a great time, and I will see you on our next vlog or movie date. Bye!